Well, I won't be doing that. Ooh. Although I will do another one. This is so tough. <laughs> oh, look at it. You can't look from far away. Sorry, ghost. I'm done! Oh, see, no, I'm not done. I love it. Oh my gosh. How do I say this? My name is Linda, and today we are doing a Halloween themed uh, video since Halloween is coming up. And I'm going to attempt to do this. Uh, I'm going to put some info pictures up here of like Halloween nails. I have my nail polish set, which my cousins gave me, and my aunt. And then a bunch of nail supplies, which I think I'm just going to be using. These things look very dangerous. I don't know what this is. Well, I won't be using that. And I'm probably not going to be using these either. I think this is for the cuticles. Right? I don't think I will be using it. How much do I can... No. I will only be using this. Which is like a double... Like, daughter, but one side is bigger. Like, if you twist this in there, it just keeps going. Oh. I feel like this is going to be the best part of the video. I also looked at the onion polish colors, and there's no orange in there, so I brought down you know, all the fake food games that you play when you're younger. Well, that's the pot I'm using. I was thinking of doing like orange tip, right? orange tip on the nail and then like both coming in from any side or just like on one finger like the ring fingers and like a red color and a like yellow color to make orange and then my white color and then there's this coat top coat and matte top coat the base coat is chosen top coat I think we're gonna go to go with regular top coat. And that's where the nail and I think I want to be black to the eyes. Okay. <laughs> I also have a UV LED night lamp. Nail lamp. UV LED nail lamp. So, after you put the gel on, gel on, you turn this on, and then you set your nails. Hopefully, I don't get any damage from this. But, let's get started. And this is my Halloween costume, at least for this video. And it's also my pajamas, so. Because it says, I am. Oh, I made the honor roll in talking, talk very much in class, or like, in front of strangers, I would talk in front of friends, family, and you guys, so, my costume, and then my Halloween colored pants, you know what I'm in the Halloween spirit for, staying at home, I'm gonna first mix some, some of them together, and then, We'll put on the base coat and then we'll get started with the fun stuff.
In my brain, I told myself I was not going to put less red and yellow because red dominates. And Panther, do it. So, now I wish for a whole bunch of red uh, but I just have the orange color. when I am ready to do the fun stuff. Goodbye. I am so pissed right now. Like the last time my cousin came over and I did their nails with the same same one. Yeah, I think the same one. They dry! Yet this time they won't dry no matter what I do. I put it on the slab like 20 times for each finger. Hand. Each hand. So I'm gonna bomb it and just go for the cuticle part. Not, no, not like the tip part of orange. I'm just gonna go for it. And it fails. This is a video of failure. But enjoy your Halloween. When you go to the treating, stay safe. Let's go. For it. Look, they're also shiny. I'm not sure that's the final look I want. Maybe I should switch out the top coat for that. Or maybe I should try another nail polish kit. Matte top coat. Oh my gosh. Okay, I already made it unglossy, so I might as well just. Take my finger and just stand on some of them to make them. on camera but I have a lot of bumps and paint 
nail polish. Okay. Nail polish that is outside of my nail, like in the between my nail and the my skin. I don't know what that's called, but yeah. I'm gonna go dry off this side, and then do the other side with my non-dominant hair. Will be so much better. I think I got nail polish on my chin. It'll be great. This way dried out quite nicely, even though I got it everywhere. Like, can you see? How 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 do you? How, um, yeah, I think this hand's so bad. Oh, this is so much paint on hands. I didn't even use that much. I don't want to just throw out the rest. Someone else has this problem where after you paint your nails. You are too scared to touch anything, so everything is like super careful. I'm not used to it. I don't paint my nails very often. And the last time painting it was 8th grade graduation. And I was even the one painting it. My mom painted my nails. And I did a much better job painting my cousin's nails as well. I just can't do like full on painting. I do like little patterns and everything. But that's me in nail polish. You guys can't even see this. I don't know how to hold it so that you guys can see, but I can also do it well, so bear with me. on one finger although I will do another one this side too could stop doing that please stand up so much because we're only on my well, now I'm going to dot their faces on it scares me so much it's the white black the black and the white Black gel polish. I'm gonna get new smiley faces. Well, actually, I hope that that fits on there because I want to get them smiley faces. Who needs scary ghosts when you have happy ghosts? Oh, look at it. You can't really see the face, but look at it. I'm gonna have to make it darker. <laughs> if my classmates or friends ask about my nails, I'm gonna tell them to look from far away because that's the only time when it looks good. Well, that one is on camera. Wait. I could be the original and when I go back to edit, they're like awful, so... Okay. Look, my ghost is crying. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm done! Oh, actually, no, I'm not done. I still have a top coat. Look. I'm gonna that looks so cute. Let's see. Okay, I just did one side and that, and I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so different from the other side, and 
And the feeling, I love it. <laughs> like the feeling of like the part with uh, the orange nail polish and the feeling with the orange nail polish. It's so fun. I love it. Look. The dried on that one. And then the glossy one, obviously. Because you guys can like see them. The gloss. I love it. How do you say this? Well, 11th grade is always a really busy year, and then with AP stuff, college stuff, and everything else, there hasn't been much time for me to produce any content, although I will try my best to do as much as I can, but like, sometimes I might have to miss a deadline or two, or post, like, as you've seen in the last few weeks, like, old videos, bloopers, and stuff like that to make sure that you guys are getting at least some content but I'm not exactly happy with what comes out of that so sometimes it might be reduced to like two times a month or like not at all I don't want to say that but I feel like that might be a possibility because I'm using a phone and it's hard to like the source fills up really fast because they're all videos and then it takes time to edit videos and then homework and clubs and activities that school has just all pile up along with taekwondo as well and out of school hobbies which I also haven't been able to do recently either although I will try to make my schedule as like <laughs> I will try to upload some videos sometimes but I feel like Right now, it's not very likely. Like, <laughs> I just don't know. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, I'm. I will really. I will appreciate those who will stay, and then if you want to leave, go right ahead. I'll leave you guys. But, like, I'm feeling very grateful for those who are staying. And, well, yeah, just hoping that maybe over summer, we just really flung away and maybe in 12th grade or like stuff like that, I can upload more content or stuff like that, but for, I mean, for like Thanksgiving and Christmas, I can also upload video because we have like breaks on those times. And then, <coughs> like, if you finish all the homework in one afternoon or one day, you have, like, all of the rest of the break to film videos. Feeling eternally grateful to those who will stay. And if you want to leave, go right ahead. I will stop you. There's no way of me stopping you any anyways. But, thank you for staying. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, hope you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I post a new video. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok even though I don't really post on there. I don't know what to post. And my nails. Although there were some problems in this and this wasn't a complete success. I think I was pretty successful in achieving my goal at least. Making goals, cute goals on me. Now, if you made it to this part of the video, comment down below. We favor Halloween candy. And as you guys can tell, mine is Sour Patch Candy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!